Hello, good morning. Uh, Mr. Warren here. Now we're going to move on to the next drawing, the conveyor link. Before you start the conveyor link, make sure that you have your layers, your blank layers drawing open so that you have all of your layers all set up. See over here? Okay, make sure you have that open. And before you do anything, you need to go to save as and call it, call the new drawing conveyor link. All right, and then hit save. And then I've already copy and pasted what it's supposed to look like right here. So uh, you have that on your assignment, CAD one assignment sway, All right? But I needed it over here so I could look at it um, while I'm drawing the picture for you. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this circle here and then this radius here, All right? We're gonna move over here into space and I'm gonna choose center diameter. I'm just gonna pick a spot in that, out in space here and I'm gonna type in 0. 0.5 six, two, five, that's my diameter, All right? I'm gonna zoom in on that so I see a little bit better. Uh, I believe now we need to pick center radius. Make sure that, that make sure you get it in the center snap and that's gonna be a radius of 1.75. No, just seven, five, oops. So let's delete that. Sorry, that looked a little big. 0 0.75, 0 0.75. All righty. Now, you're going to have the same thing six inches away. So I'm going to draw myself a temporary line from the center. Make sure you see the center, snap, put on your ortho mode down here and type in six inches. Now we're going to take a copy of these two. Oops, I don't want to do a picture. Just click on the circles. Uh, we take a copy of those two circles, grab it by the center, move it over there. Okay. Now we're going to move this line. Actually, let's just copy it. We're going to copy this line. So I click on it, come up here, hit copy. Make sure it snaps into the endpoint. If your snaps aren't on, it's right here. These are your snaps. Make sure your snaps are on. You also want to make sure all of these are check marked. All right. So my snaps are on. So my base point is going to be the very end of the line. And then I'm going to move it down here until I see the snap called quadrant. Put another one up here, snap quadrant. Then I'm going to delete my original line. Okay. Then I'm going to select everything and I'm going to trim out the inside half of the bigger circles. All right, so there's the beginning of our conveyor link right there, this section. Now we need to locate the center for this hole and this and this hole in this sliding little notch right here, and then the center for this arc at the top, All right? And that's going to be based upon where these center lines are, okay? And then these angles. So we're going to come over here. We're going to switch to center layer and I'm going to draw a line and I'm just going to make it eight inches long. Let's turn ortho off. Eight inches long. And I'm going to tab over and it said 15 degrees. Well, 180 is a straight line. So 180 minus 15 is 65. So six, 165 degrees. Okay. Then I'm going to draw another one. That's going to go, what's well, 15 degrees on it? All right, so then that other one is 60 degrees. So 180 minus 60 degrees is 120 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna go eight inches, tab 120 degrees. All right, now if I'm going too fast, just pause the video and rewind. All right, uh, it's not that hard. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna draw this little circle right here. It has a radius of 3.75 right there from this center, okay? So come back over here, make sure your uh, circle's on center radius, it is. 
And we're going to click circle center radius. 3.75. that right? Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Now we're going to draw these two circles. All right, they're going to start out as they're a half circle, but they're going to start out as full circle, and they have a radius of 0.25. All right, so we got to switch back to our zero layer. Then we're going to go uh, center radius 0.25, right? Yeah, 0.25. We're going to go 0.25. Okay, so for that to work, that circle has to snap right in to the intersection of those two center lines. All right, now we're just going to copy that circle and move it to right here. Click on it, do copy, grab it by the center, zoom in where you can see it a little better. And then we're going to move it down to here. Make sure it hits right on that intersection. All right. Now we're going to construct this little slot right here. And for that, you just need to draw a circle from this center radius, center radius, from this center to the intersection of the, or actually, it's going to say, yeah, intersection of that center line and that circle. All right, you're gonna do another one, but you this time you're gonna to go to the top half of the circle or the other side of the circle. Make sure it's gonna say either perpendicular or intersection. All right, now that's gonna allow us to do some trimming now. So I want you to select everything. And then come up here to your trim function and you're gonna go boom, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Nope, don't want to get rid of that. I want to keep that. Now you got to zoom in here, get this little chunk of the deal there. Get that and get that. And then you want to get the inside part of the circle. Now, if you want to see if it looks right, um, you got everything. Come up here to your layers tab, layer menu, Billy Bobber up here, and turn off the center lines. There you go. All right, so we've constructed our little slot. Now we're gonna put this little margin around it, all right? We're gonna do the same thing. Let's turn those center lines back on. And we're just gonna draw this radius right here of 0.75, okay? So we're gonna to go to center radius. We're gonna draw a circle right on that center line, intersection of those two center lines, and it's gonna be 0.75. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did here. We're just gonna click center radius. We're gonna go from center to that intersection there, except it says perpendicular. There, sometimes your snaps are the same thing. They're located in the same place. So it's not that big a deal, just as long as you see a snap right there. And those two services are tangent to each other. That's important. They have to contact or the trim function won't work. Now we're gonna do it again. This time we're gonna to go to the outside of the circle. Escape. I'm going to select everything so we don't want to select our picture. We we'll come back up here and we're going to trim all this away. We're going to trim. Get rid of that. We can get rid of this line in here now. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of the inside of the circle. And there we go. Now the only thing we're missing are these two radiuses here. This one is 0.75 and that one has a radius of 0.1. Now, here's what you could do. There's two thing, two ways to do this. You go up here to, probably a lot more than that, but two that I know of. You come up here to circle, tangent, tangent, radius. You go tangent, tangent, radius of one. And that draws a circle right there, okay? And then you can trim all that out. Trim, trim, trim. All right. But I think the easiest way to do it, I just did Control Z. I just, I just undid that. What I just did is the fillet command. Fillet. 
click on that uh, horizontal line, hit R for radius, type in one, enter each time, and then it does it for you. So you can use that same command here, fill it. You got to change the radius though, because it's set at one now. You got to type in 0.75, enter button, and then click that one. All righty. Okay, so if you look at, so there's the drawing, there's the outline of the drawing. Now we need to fix the center line. We need to trim some of these center lines out of the way. So here's what you're going to do. This is a little tricky, so pay attention. So I'm going to go back up here to zero layer. I'm already on zero layer. I'm going to go to center radius, and I'm going to draw a circle right here that I'm going to delete in a little bit. It's temporary. All right, I'm going to go, let's do 1.5 radius circle. Then I'm going to copy that. That's a little bit. That's a little big. Let's delete that and do it again. And we're going to do 1.25. 1.25. Okay. And I'm going to copy that circle and move it to about here. Okay. Now it looks like reindeer with glasses on. Uh, I'm going to go like this. Okay. And I'm going to trim these center lines down to a little more normal of an area or looking center line. Then I'm going to delete those circles and I've drawn my conveyor link. Okay. But I still need a center line here and another one here. So that for that, I'm going to draw, oops, let me go to my center line, center line layer. I'm going to draw a perfectly horizontal center line, all right? I'm gonna make it 2.25 inches long. That's too long. Okay, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna make it, let's just make it two inches long. Two inches long in the horizontal, two inches long in the vertical. Then I'm gonna grab the vertical one. I'm gonna move it. Turn my ortho off so it's a little easier to see. I'm going to move it right there. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to grab it right there. I'm going to put one right there. And I'm going to delete my original one. So click on it, hit delete on the keyboard. And then come up here to line and go from endpoint to endpoint. And there we have drawn our conveyor link. Next video, I'll show you how to do the dimensions. All right, so there you go. Just slow the video down. Rewind if you need to, and then um, you'll be able to draw this without much trouble. Ask me, email me, tell me what you need. I'm here for you. Proud of you. May the force be with you.